Sighting, Lieutenant. Bearing. Coming up now. This is moon base control. Yellow alert. Repeat. Yellow alert. Good morning, sir. Moon base to control. Sighting. Area red. Zero four two. One, eight, four. How does it look, Lieutenant? We're awaiting confirmation. Red alert. Confirming UFO. 429117 blue. Red alert. Interceptors, immediate launch. Zero one seven three four eight one zero one. Speed, Sol zero. Decimal five reducing. Program computers for missile firing sequence. One eight three seven zero two four. Program complete. Missile firing one eight decimal four. for you, sir. All right, go ahead, Lieutenant. We have the UFO termination fix. Southern England, grid reference 4706. Yes, ground radar gave us the same information, Lieutenant. How badly was it damaged? Well, the interceptor scored a probable hit, but the UFO seemed to maintain its course. Listen, Lieutenant, I want moon base maintained on a full red alert. If that UFO breaks cover and lifts off, I want it destroyed. Now, keep me informed. Roger and out. Are the mobiles moving in? Yes, sir. Where's Skydiver? Yes, sir. Compute. Roger. Looks like we could intercept around here. Where's that readout? Mm, it looks good. Signal Sky One. Immediate launch.
Sky One to control. Airborne. We have you on positive track, Sky One. Set onboard computer for interception course. Have it on radar. Closing. Have visual contact. Setting missile firing sequence. Minus 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, zero. Blazes, did he miss it? Get me, Lieutenant Ellis. Yes, sir. Excellent visibility. Positive radar track. Positive infrared homing signal. Displacement? Go. Filters? Check. Fluctuation? Affirmative. Reflex? Excuse me. Right. Shadow control for you, Lieutenant. Right. Little base for you, sir. Lieutenant Ellis. What are the chances of an interception by moon base? None at all, sir. The UFO's leaving Earth on an anti-lunar trajectory. Beyond your range. I'll keep tracking it and report any change. Roger and out. Range 26 million receding. Lieutenant. Can't be. Check it. And tell control. Oh, just how long is this going to take? Is it or isn't it? It's pretty complex, sir. Times, courses, trajectories, the interplay of G-forces. Result sequence. Trajectory 042326 cyclic. Lunar G variable 7 over 5 decimal 4. Computer predicted power loss 70%. Orbit fading 0 decimal 4 GRT. Predict impact lunar grid reference B182. Moon base to control. Positive. Thank you, Lieutenant. So the UFO's headed for the moon? Yes. It doesn't have enough power to escape the lunar G-force. It must have been damaged. The UFO is still maintaining its trajectory. Good. Just as long as it continues to head for the moon, do nothing. But if it manages to develop enough power to pull away from lunar gravity, launch your interceptors and destroy it. The astronauts are in position. They can be spaceborne in seconds. Fine. Now keep me informed, Lieutenant. Roger and out. to you about the new leave roster for moon base i thought you might it'll have to be changed and who tells them i might have guessed straker g1 
Joe Fraser is in reception, sir. Who? The reporter from the press agency. Did I make an appointment? Yes, sir. You agreed to the interview last week. All right, thank you, Miss Eland. Look, Alec, can't you handle it? No, you're head of the studio. It's you he wants to interview. Article for a heap of glossy film magazines. I'm no PR man. It won't be that bad. GPA will syndicate the story and keep the rest of the press off your back. Oh, Commander Straker, the refueling schedule, sir. Give it to Colonel Freeman. I'm about to be thrown to the press. Excuse me. Yes, Mr. Straker. I'm ready, Miss Eland. Yes, sir. Would you like to go in? Now, before we start, I must tell you that I'm a very busy man, Mr. Fraser. I must apologize. My name is Josephine Fraser. I sometimes find that in a man's world, Joe is more convenient. Hmm. Well, uh, is it a man's world? I think so. I hope you'll forgive me. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Please sit down. These. Lieutenant, do you know where Commander Straker is? Yes, I buzzed him a couple of minutes ago. He's on his way back from the lot. in the office, up top, over the intercom. Well, yes, I tried there first. What did you say? Nothing. There was no answer. Well, you must have said something. It's important. Well, just... Commander Straker. There was no reply, so I clicked off. Commander Straker. Well, thank you, Ford. reporter had a tape recorder. It was left in the office. The chances are it picked up Ford's voice over the intercom. That's not so important. He only said Commander Straker. Assuming it was picked up, what could it mean to anyone? Not a lot, I agree. But maybe just enough for that woman reporter and her press friends to start snooping around. It was a girl. Yes. Miss Eland, get on to the Global Press Agency. I want to contact that Miss Josephine Fraser. It's urgent. Yes, sir. What was she like? Hmm? Oh, intelligent. Attractive? I'm afraid we have no one on our staff named Fraser. Are you quite certain? I've checked right through the personnel files. Yes, I see. But check with the other agencies. Right. Thank you very much. Yes, Miss Eland? I just called the press agency, sir. They've never heard of Miss Fraser. Well, check all the other agencies. I want her found. Thank you, Miss Eland. It was my mistake. I'll take care of it. Well, I still think I should go. Well, it's simple enough, Alec. Find Miss Fraser and get the tape. A logical sequence. Well, you can look after things here. Sure. Well, 
Well, there it is, Alec. The responsibility seat. The uh, other side of the fence. I'll check in every few hours. Trace on positive track, course 428146, green. Speed 0, Sol 8. Range 20 million miles, closing. Termination? It should be through any second. Tell Moon Base to launch the interceptors. Red alert. Red alert. Control to interceptors. Have UFOs on positive track. Green one four zero. One base to shadow two control. Seven, Confirm you no sighting. Solve the interceptor. Five million miles. A sighting bearing green zero four two maintaining stationary position at 50,000 feet Earth's atmosphere well do we have trouble I don't think so but we have an unidentified radar trace yes then something's there I guess so, but... And it could be that UFO. It's practically stationary. The point is, do we have a UFO on our hands or don't we? Well, in my opinion, it's a million to one against. But of course, we'll maintain a full alert radar track. No. Launch Sky One. Tell Waterman to investigate. Yes, sir. This is Shadow Control to Skydiver. Launch Sky One, investigate possible UFO, position 012302, red three. Roger Control, out. Launch stations. Launch stations. Check circuits. HP circuits, okay. Relays, okay. Okay, for launch, Captain. Lift off stations. Lift off stations. Check boosters. Checking boosters.
We still have positive track. Green on three. Confirm radar fix. Patrol to Sky One. New position, 018294. Range 25 miles. I have it on internal radar. Should have visual contact in about a minute. I think I can see it. Panic over. It's a weather balloon. Sorted out. Yes, sir. Clever girl, Miss Fraser. She's got a record as long as you're on. Is she wanted by the police? Not at the moment, but she won't stay out of trouble for long. Her kind never do. Maybe. Where's Colonel Freeman? In your office, sir. Hello, Alec. Hello. Well, I hear you had quite a day. You could say that. Well, say, Alec, I... <laughs> Well, it's all yours. Now, the uh, other side of the fence. Have trace on positive track. Course. 428146 green. Speed 0 Sol 8. Range 32 million miles closing. Red alert. Red alert. Control to interceptors. Have UFOs on positive track. Green 140. Base to shadow control. Confirm Speed. UFO sightings. Going for intercept. Decimals. Maintaining speed and course. Apogee 027 decimal 324. the termination, sir. What is it? Western Europe. Anything more specific? The flight path indicates grid reference UX 104, Southern England. Southern England. Thank you. Interceptors closing in. I'll give the command. Sir? Tell Moonbase I'll give the command. Yes, sir. Shadow control to Moonbase. Orders from Commander Straker. Suspend interceptor UFO attack. UFO closing. Range 11 million miles. Nine million miles. Interceptors coming into range. 
Sir, do we intercept? Range closing. Seven million miles. Sir, do we intercept? No. Negative. Negative? That's what I said. Five million miles. Shadow control to moon base. Interception negative. Repeat, interception negative. Intercept us to return to moon base. Confirm speed 4.7 decimal 4. UFO signal now negative, sir. Presumably landed. Map reference? Reference 119120, approximately. 119120. And that's somewhere there. I want the whole area cordoned off. Alert mobiles 1, 2, and 3. Yes, sir. This is Shadow Control. Colonel Foster. Alert mobiles 1. I think two, you better get out there with them. I repeat. Yes, sir. Alert mobiles one, two, and three. This is Commander Straker to all mobile operatives. You are to locate UFO designated 9041F. Termination area approximately 119120. Colonel Foster. Sir. I want you to cover blue area X7. Okay. So you let one through. That's right. Why don't we do the job properly? What do you mean? Ask the aliens around for drinks. Let's go into the office. We're fighting a series of losing battles here, Alec. Why? Because we don't really know who or what we're fighting. I've waited months for a chance like this, Alec. A UFO right on our own doorstep. That's why I let this one through. And those mobiles are on the way to bring it in, intact, before any deterioration sets in. Meanwhile, there's a potential killer or killers at large. Yes, I know. It's a risk. But the area has a low population density. It's mostly virgin forest. The danger factor must be very slight.
Mobile One to Shadow Control. One to Control. Go ahead, Mobile One. Have covered search area blue X7P Q&R. UFO negative. Roger, Mobile One. Proceed to link with Mobile Three at location 118109. Shadow Mobiles 2 and 3 are due to report any moment now, sir. Areas X8 and 9 are practically covered. Well, what about Mobile 1? Uh, his progress is slower. He has the densest area. Every inch of that forest has to be searched. Somewhere in there, there's a UFO. And we're going to find it. Intact. <laughs> Mobile one to shadow control. One to control. Go ahead, one. Have located UFO. Position blue area, 119-113. This is Straker. Advise on condition. It's a total wreck. Is there any sign of life, Colonel? Investigating now, sir. Dispatch the analysis teams to the area. Yes, sir. Shadow control to ADP unit. Proceed to blue area, 119-113. Mobile one to shadow control, one to control. Go ahead, one. The body inside the UFO is definitely not an alien. Mobile One, this is Straker. Explain yourself. The body was charred beyond identification, but there are no signs of the hermetic seals around the neck. We're searching the area on foot. The alien must be somewhere in the forest. Blue area to shadow control. Blue area to shadow control. We found a couple of things, sir. First, a piece of torn fabric that looks like it came from an alien spacesuit. There's also signs of a struggle. Yes, what else? We've also found an Alsatian dog near the landing site with collar number 995987. Listen, Colonel, we have details here of a missing person in the blue area. A game warden by the name of Mitchell. That dog collar information checks. Now, it's my guess that it's Mitchell's body you found in the debris. Try using the dog to locate the alien. The chances are it can pick up the scent. Yes, sir.
was that? The lights. Cass! The lights! He stopped. He's coming right to the front, Cass. He's at the door. For God's sake, I... What's the matter, Cass? What are you doing? I'm trying to think. What are we going to do? How are we going to explain it? Who is Shut he? Up. Ah! You're not leaving. You're not going to leave me here. But you know I must. No, Our only chance is to go through with the plan as we arranged it. Cass, I can't But we must. You don't see but I don't know any more than you do. As far as you're concerned, he was an intruder on you. Shot him. Do you understand? Do you understand? Look, I must go. Give me three minutes. Three minutes, that's all. Then phone the police. Cass! Cass! Wait with me, Hills. Wait, wait. Just until I've called the police. Three oh, minutes! Please, Cass, please! Cass! Cass! <laughs> Would you get your coat, Mrs. Newton? What are you doing here? Who are you? Are you the police? How do you know my name? Please.
Ah, Mrs. Newton. Mr. Fowler, we've been expecting you. This way, please. Would you care to sit down? Freeman, Alec. Voice print identification positive. 97 Freeman, Alec E. Now, if you just follow me, please. Look, what is going on here? Now, please, Mr. Fowler. I realize you've both had a very harrowing experience. Right are entitled to an explanation for this intrusion into your privacy. Right, again. Now, Mr. Straker will explain our reasons for bringing you here. In the meantime, if you'd just like to make yourselves comfortable, I'm sure you'll find everything you need. Be very careful what you say. Where are we? We're under some kind of film studio. Who are these people? I don't know. The one that brought us up here said something about someone called Straker. Isn't he a, a film producer or something? <laughs> I must apologize for having had you brought here like this, Mr. Fowler, Mrs. Newton. Now listen here. And I've had you brought here for a uh, discussion. Now, if you'll both please sit down. Here's your coffee, Keith. Yeah, that's just what I needed. Unidentified flying objects. Aliens from another planet. A world defense organization, it's incredible. Then the lives of everyone can be in terrible danger all the time. Very great danger. That's the reason for all the security. The general public must never know. One thing I don't understand is, if your organization is so secret, why did you bring us here? To help you forget the whole thing. Forget? Yes, you see, Shadow have developed an amnesia drug, well, for obvious reasons. We administer it to people like yourselves who have come into contact with aliens, or indeed with our organization. An amnesia drug? Yes, it's perfectly harmless. All it will do is erase all memory of the past 12 hours. It's tasteless. Would you, uh... Care for some more coffee? circuits. Okay. The electrical power system. Check. Inverters. Operational. RCS heaters. On. Oxygen flow. Normal.
Unidentified flying object bearing 428146 green. Interceptors, immediate launch. Interceptor 1 to moon base control. Computerized course AOK. -okay. Roger, Interceptor 1. Moon base to shadow control. Go ahead, moon base. Interceptor spaceborne and on course. UFO maintaining flight path, now 15 miles from GSP-4. We'll have contact with UFO in approximately 4 minutes, 30 seconds. Roger. Maintain speed. Houston from GSP-4. Go ahead, GSP-4. We have completed our course correction. Everything is A-OK -okay at minus 36, 42, 25, 2, touchdown. Roger. Everything looks good here, too. We have go for re-entry at 1,600 hours tomorrow. Roger, Houston. By the way, did you uh, identify the signal? Negative. But it doesn't seem to be influencing your flight path. Just keep on scanning and recording it. Roger, Houston. Out. Still with us? Yeah. Yes, that's right. I want a complete press, radio, and TV clampdown on any information relating to the signal being monitored by the GSP-4. But look, I can't make it any clearer for you. Well, you tell them anything you want. That's your problem. How far, Paul? Twelve. It's still closing. Uh, if it gets any closer before the interceptors are in range, they won't be able to attack. UFO reducing speed, position 10 miles from GSP-4. GSP-4 to mission control. Uh, this signal we've been getting seems to be real strong now. Do you have any comment to make on that down there? Yeah, we know, Al. We're getting it too. But as far as we can tell, there's nothing to worry about. Just maintain your flight path. Roger, Houston. <laughs> UFO two miles from capsule. Interceptors now in range. Control to interceptors. Continue on course and await firing instructions. One mile. Interceptors in position. Awaiting firing instructions. Roger, Moon Base. We can't attack. No, it's too near the capsule. Tell Moonbase to recall the interceptors, Lieutenant, and then alert Skydiver. Yes, sir. This is Shadow Control. We don't have to guess this time. All right. It's going to follow the space probe right back to Earth. Sky One to redock with Skydiver and get the mobiles out there as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. Well, there's no chance it's lifted off again. Ground radar would have picked it up. Yeah. It's out there somewhere. How long will it take the mobiles to get there? Two or three hours. You better get moving. Roger 3, continue search in area 25. Yes? Colonel Foster for you, sir. Hello, Paul. How's it going? No luck, sir. We've covered 70% of the area, no sign of the UFO. Okay, Paul. Keep at it. Right. 
Lieutenant Johnson, I'm going to grab some sleep. If anything develops, call me. Yes, sir. more dangerous than dealing with it here. If a trigger mechanism is set, any movement could blow this place to pieces. You mean diffuse it here? I don't know, Paul. I'm not saying that it is an explosive device. What I am saying is that we must treat it like one. Lieutenant, sound a red alert. Clear all non-essential personnel from the complex. Yes, sir. This is a red alert. This is an internal emergency. All personnel on B roster to evacuate area. Listen to this, Commander. Okay. They're picking it up on the audio sensor. I'm somewhere in the center here. 
Well, what do you make of it? It's regular, mechanical. We think we've pinpointed the mechanism here, sir. If we cut an exploratory hole here, we can get an X-ray shot and see what makes it tick. Once we start cutting, sir, anything can happen. All right. Let's get on with it. Right. low. Radiation negative. So there's still no other reaction. Any readings? No, sir. Still no other reaction. It's through. I'm going to remove the cutout. Find out what we're up against, sir. There is no possible doubt? No, sir. It is a human heart. Russell's stone. It must be. They've slowed his rate of metabolism and heartbeat down by lowering the body temperature. All packed up, ready for shipment. The doctors think there is a chance they can get him out alive, but... Uh, They'd like someone he knows to be around when he comes to. I'll take care of it. Yes.
Miss Stone, this is Commander Straker. It's Anne, isn't it? Yes, but I'm so confused. All this. Where am I? Yes, well, if you try not to think about that for the moment. We found your brother. Russ? Is he all right? We hope he will be. Your drugs ready, sir. Right. It'll help you to forget. So, what do we do now? Any suggestions? No. But we can't just sit around. I've solved quite a few problems by just sitting around, as you call it, Colonel. I suggest you try it yourself sometime. Commander, the tracking report on Colonel Foster's flight has just come in from Moon Base. And? Well, nothing unusual, sir. All right. So that leaves the MV3 detector. Yes, they're processing the data now. Well, we haven't had much luck so far. Maybe we're due for a break. The MV3 data, sir. Ah, oh, thank you. Here we go again. Red alert! Red alert! Interceptors immediate launch! Ground defense control, position rocket launchers. Shadow control. Moon base to shadow control. Go ahead, Moon base. Ground defenses in position. Interceptor spaceborne contact minus four seven. Roger. Fire 
firing range, minus eight. UFO's retreating, giving chase. It smells. Moon base, tell your ground defenses to get nervous. Shadow control, three more UFOs approaching orbital reference. Three, one, eight. Decoys. Moon base, instruct the interceptors to return immediately. Four from moon base, approaching re-entry, normal pattern. Five, three, four, that's Craig Collins, isn't it? Yes, sir. Have him call me when he gets down, will you? Yes, sir. Pilot reports firing cabin, sir. Let me in there. Craig, this is Ed. How bad is it? <laughs> well, I can't tell. There's just... A lot of smoke and it seems to be getting worse. Switch the life support. And, and try cutting your Q circuits. Sid reporting three alien craft. No oh, good. The heat's still building up. Sighting confirmed. Main warning lights are on. Repeat, alarm lights are on. miles closing at Sol 8. Hold on, Craig. Be back with you in a minute. Stay with him. <laughs> Four million miles closing. Launch interceptors. Trajectory Northern Europe. Range three and a half million miles closing. Two million miles closing. Speed reducing to Sol 6. Come on, love. Let's not make something out of nothing. I was just worried about you. Just tiredness. Catching up with me. I'll be as good as new after a night's sleep. 
Jim, why are we taking the long way home? Sorry. Just wasn't thinking, I suppose. Do you want me to drive? Perhaps you'd better. by the lights. Yeah, he was lucky I saw him. Well, we can't just leave it. We'll drop it in at the police station. Jim. Yeah? If they can't trace yeah, Daniel, here it comes. can I keep him? He's so beautiful, and he'll be company for me when you're away. Uh, I'll have to think about it. I don't like competition, you know. Uh-uh. -oh. Who said cats were lucky? I think we'll call this one Jonah. Let's see what's in the toolkit. Get out, quick!
What are you doing here? I should report you, you know. This is a restricted area. Looks like we got ourselves a massacre. Red alert, red alert. UFO leaving Earth, area PZ-17. Direction amber 4G, speed 1500. Is it yours? My wife's. Well, it would have been. We found him in the road just before. Just before the UFO. You're right, Jim. Just a headache. Jim, what are you doing here? It was terrible about Jean. I don't know what to say. If there's anything I can do. You okay? I'll take you back. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait! Ah! Oh, Jim. Sorry, Bob. Yeah. You're late. Got held up. Wait a minute, I thought... 
Colonel Foster was supposed to be taking your place. The order was cancelled. I should check. You know what Straker is? Straker's orders. I should still check. Seeing it's you. Good luck. <laughs> Jim's taking it. Yeah. She was a nice girl. Hmm. Interceptor pilots, stand by to escort... Oh, it's Foster cutting it fine again. Well, he's probably having a quick workout in the gym. So don't worry about it. Hmm. Interceptor, stand by. Three minutes. Ah, I'd better report. Yeah. Hey, Jim, I thought Paul was taking your place. The order was changed. I wasn't informed. Last minute decision, Paul was taken ill. Oh, sorry, Jim, I don't doubt your word, but I must follow procedure. Hello? Operations room? Captain Minto here. I'd like to speak to Major Heath. Interceptors, immediate launch. Get the order about Colonel Foster replacing him? Yes, sir, but he said you'd cancelled it. I want to see you first thing tomorrow, Morgan. I don't make orders, I have them ignored. Yes, sir. Moonbase. Moonbase? I want to talk to Captain Regan. He's escorting Venus probe in, Commander. Where's Colonel Foster? The Colonel's not on Moonbase. Contact Regan. Find out what the hell he's playing at. Yes, sir. Regan? Come in, Regan. Regan, come in. Regan's flying. I thought you grounded him. I did. He's broken radio contact. He's never disobeyed orders before. Yes, that's what worries me. Find Foster. What, is he on moon base? No, he isn't. He's here somewhere. A minute Captain Regan lands, I want him placed under close arrest and brought back here. Yes, sir. God almighty. Paul, what happened? Regan. He was like a madman. Why? Why did he do it? I don't know. I tried to reason with him, but he was out of his mind. Like a wild animal. Did he say anything? No, nothing. Nothing at all? Well... I just kept making noises, like a cat. A cat? Commander, there is a cat. It belonged to Regan's wife. He said he found it close to the UFO. Something else, Commander. When he picked it up, he suddenly developed head pain. I'll get the building searched. Hold it. Let's make sure it's still in the building. Get me Miss Holland. Miss Holland? Yes, I did. About half an hour ago. Formation. Trajectory. Interceptor 3 on collision course Moonbase. I repeat, collision course 
Moonbase. They're using Regan to destroy Moonbase. Instruct interceptors one and two. Pursue and destroy interceptor three. Say again, sir. You heard me correctly, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Interceptors one and two, destroy. Repeat, destroy interceptor three. Something's wrong. No power. Same with me, nothing. Find that animal. We'll never find it in time. Try. We have all the proof we need. Everything Straker says is true, Admiral. UFOs are a fact. It's fantastic. I can't believe it. Well, I won't argue with you there. Now, whatever you're doing, the aliens know about it. Now, make no mistake. And if they're interested, so am I. Look, whatever you're doing, you've cloaked behind a veil of secrecy that we've been unable to penetrate, officially or otherwise. But now, Admiral, I have to know. Well, I'm chairman of a committee dealing with the destruction of obsolete weapons and military equipment and so on. Some time ago, a thousand gallons of an experimental nerve gas were manufactured in Europe. Then further tests revealed that the gas was far too dangerous ever to be used, even to be handled. So it was arranged that the gas should be chemically destroyed in laboratory conditions. Then it was discovered that the gas was virtually indestructible, certainly by any known method. It was therefore decided that the gas should be dumped at sea. Well, what if there's a leakage? The gas is sealed in very special containers, containers geared to corrode over a period of several hundred years. By the time that gas escapes into the atmosphere, it would be quite harmless. And if the aliens attack the ship and the containers are destroyed, then that would be the end, Commander Straker. There's enough gas on that ship to destroy every form of life known on this Earth. Nine, 
2802. Yes, that's correct, Lieutenant. Now have this course computed, and then station an interceptor directly on the line. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Now I want this procedure carried out around the clock. At all times, an interceptor is to be in position. Yes, sir. Interceptor 1, immediate launch. Immediate launch. Interceptor 1 to moon base. Routine check, 1500 hours, nothing to report. Roger 1, routine check, 1500 hours, received. Confirm negative report. Report confirmed. This patrol wouldn't be so bad if I knew what I was waiting for. Thank you, Mr. Goebel. 30 hours. Anything to report? Yes, sir. Radar reports increased aerial activity. Oh. UFOs. Two. Sighting. Zero one two two seven zero seven four sector fourteen. Unable to confirm UFO sightings. Interceptor one to moon base control. Confirm sighting. Reading negative. Repeat negative. Repeat. We are failing to get a reading. Moon base control to interceptor one. Confirm trajectory. Zero one two two. 7074 sector 14 Interceptor 1 to moon base control I'm moving in You were right They have found a way through our defensive screens Some kind of radio jamming I expect Using waves to break up the frequency Can our technicians fix it? Well, oh, it depends on whether we're still here tomorrow, doesn't it? They're separating surviving you, sir. Thank you. Heading for a point somewhere near Newfoundland. That's nowhere near the ship. The ship's in the South Atlantic. Everything ready, sir? Good. Come on, stop it. Sir? Bridge to deck party, bridge to deck party. Commence dumping. There's a change in course, sir. The UFO has veered off. Its trajectory is now the South Atlantic. This is it.
Tracer. Bridge. We've picked up a radar, Trace. Uh, bearing 147, speed Mach 5, reducing fast. Mr. Kubam. Sir? Do you see anything? No, sir. Yes. Yes, there. What is it, sir? I don't know. I've never seen anything like this before. It's coming down. Action stations. Missile, Mr. Kubo. Clear for firing. Clear for firing. Get that missile launched, Mr. Kubo. Bridge to missile control. Fire. Repeat. Fire. It's the damage, officer, sir. Missile guidance electronics have been affected by the explosion. They're still trying to ascertain the damage. No use, sir. Missile systems are negative. Alert gun crews. Bridge to gun, stand by. Bridge to gun, stand by. out of range, sir.
more shot. Maybe two. That's all. Have Colonel Foster bring in that report on the underwater cameraman, will you? Yes, sir. Thanks. Another link. Listen to this, Paul. The deeper I go, the warmer the water becomes. Get me skydiver. Take a look at this, Paul. The deep water around that volcano is a lot warmer than it should be. Skydiver. Captain, I want you, by using your temperature gauges, to follow that stream of warm water. Try and find out where it leads to, and if possible, what's causing it. Report back to me every 15 minutes. Very good, sir. You know, I have an idea. They'll finish up just about here. Cornwall. Yes, and the fish follow the warm water. Exactly. Lieutenant Anderson, what's the latest on Watchdog? Lieutenant Anderson is on 24 hours leave, sir. Last report from Watchdog via Sid received three minutes ago. No change. Thank you. Temperature rise of three degrees. Captain! Evasive action!
periscope depth. Slowly. All right, sir. Good work, Captain. Resume your original search. Oh, and Captain, watch yourself. Yes, sir. Well, it seems a UFO has been using that volcano as a front door to the Atlantic. And Skydiver also found the reason for the rise in water temperature. What was that? An undersea cable. The UFO was using it as an energy supply. Because they can travel underwater on their own power. Yes, for short distances. And you think this one has been to Cornwall? It looks that way. Then there must be an energy plant under the volcano. And if the water temperature is so high, it's generating a lot more power than is needed to drive one UFO. Yes. Well, I wonder what skydiver will find at the end of that cable. Sight, Captain. We'll rendezvous back here in uh, 45 minutes. Yes, sir.
some kind of porthole or window. Uh, it's possible. Try scraping away the outer layer. Been a UFO. Well, in unknown country, I think it's better to travel light. Well, let's see what wonders await us down here. Feeling you've been here before? Yeah. Sure looks familiar. But why? Shadow control to Sid. Shadow control to Sid. Come in, Sid. Shadow control to Moonbase. Come in, Moonbase. Moonbase receiving you, Shadow Control. UFOs approaching from NML-12. Do not attempt to intercept. Repeat, do not attempt to intercept. Do not understand. Do not understand. You say do not intercept. Is this correct? Correct. Commander Straker's orders. UFOs to be dealt with by Earth's defenses. Over and out. Do not intercept. Is this correct? Correct, Skydiver. Commander Straker's orders. UFOs will be dealt with by ground defences. Over and out.
The computer was right. I plan to take over shadow control and use it to let those UFOs through. But where did they get our voices from? Well, they've obviously been recording our communications. By using the words they need and putting them together, they can make us say anything they want. And why all this elaborate miming? Well, you forget. They'll be seen on the TV screens. Come on, Paul. Let's go. Yes, sir. We've been on red alert since 0600 hours. If we do lose contact, you'll have to play it by ear. Yes, sir. Three minutes, Lieutenant. It's a feeling of helplessness I can't take. Sunspot activity is the perfect cover for you, first. But do you think they'll try anything? I think you can lay odds on it. Give me the surface camera. Yes, Lieutenant. 50 seconds. Interference ratio 2 over 7 increasing. Interference level rising to critical, Commander. Right. Well, it looks like we're going to have a communication blackout. Sound of vision breaking up. We'll keep flying open and test signal every 60 seconds. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Give me the surface. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, zero. Radar trace bearing 184, range 20 miles, camera 3. the interceptors. Interceptors immediate launch. Immediate launch. Fifteen miles. Nine miles. Bay 
my congratulations to the interceptor pilots. They didn't get near it. What? It disintegrated. No apparent reason. Thank you, Lieutenant. Contact Paul Foster. And check on the next available lunar flight. You're going up to moon base? Yes. I want to know why a UFO gets within four miles of moon base and destroys itself. Coming back from the moon can be disorientating. Even moon speeds have some effect on time. Yes, sir. I see, sir. Never knew that, sir. It's like a nightmare. A grotesque nightmare. Give me that piece of wood. Come on, let's get out of control. Why haven't Moon Base reacted? They must know something's wrong. They could have had Skydiver over the base by now. What are you going to do? Call General Henderson. We need help. That thing's still up there. If it comes down before we can get assistance, there must be someone we can contact. It's no use. If we could just understand the principle they've used. There's no pulse. My body temperature's normal. Yet they're fixed, like, like statues. It's almost as though they'd be frozen in time. Yes, that's it. That way, whatever they were doing, it'd be fossilized when the force struck. Yet the lift from your office was working. Yes, I know. It doesn't fit the pattern. Colonel. This isn't frozen. One thing in common. They weren't in motion when it happened. Yes, they weren't moving in time. That's why the elevator works. But then if we could find a monitor that wasn't switched on. Now they were all switched on. There's got to be an answer. We just have to think it through. I 
don't seem to be able to think anymore. God, I feel so tired. I feel as though I could sleep for a week. Yes, I know. It must be shock catching up with us. Wait a minute. Let me see your watch. the studio just like the clock beginning to get to us yes i can feel it medical center way you could get past moon base travel so fast cheat time Farm barrier heat barrier light barrier time barrier they can control it, but only for so long until the field force they built up on the way here begins to wear off. Like the waves of pressure you see in front of an airplane. That's why they haven't landed yet. They're still in a different continuum. Yes. Well, they obviously have to shed the field force before they can operate here. But why? How are they reaching us? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out some answers when we get back to the control room. Are you okay? Fine. Come on, let's go. What is that stuff? X-50. It speeds you up to ten times normal. Heart, muscles, brain, coordination. They use it a lot in the early high-G test flights. Finally banned it as being too dangerous. Why? Well, it burn people out. If we weren't under the evil eye now, we'd be moving so fast, we'd just be a blur. Straker experience such an extended moment.
take two. Bye, Howard. Uh, Any way you want. All right, General Michael. Every man in the table is my responsibility. Oh, my gums bleed for you. Oh, stop it, stop it. You're making me cry. My God, you know I'm... Really...